If you are an irresponsible owner and that definitely makes your dog unhappy, you can't expect less. And it is that, just like us, dogs know how to differentiate very well the people who treat them with love from those who do a lot of evil to them. That's why knowing the signs they can give can make us understand who are good people for them and improve what needs to be improved. Friends, welcome. Today, we will know seven signs that your dog hates you. And after watching this video, tell us if you know of any experiences in the comments. Now, yes, let's start. Number one, rage or aggression. When a dog exhibits aggressive behaviors towards its owner or towards other people, it can be an indication that he feels threatened, insecure, or disturbed in some way. This can be related to a variety of factors such as fear, pain, lack of socialization, or a previous traumatic experience. Signs of aggression can include growling, showing teeth, showing defensive postures such as bristling hair, arching back, and in more extreme cases, attempts to bite. These behaviors should not be ignored or minimized as they represent a clear communication that the dog feels uncomfortable or threatened in the current situation. It is crucial to address this aggression responsibly and with the assistance of a professional. A veterinarian or a canine behavior specialist can assess the situation and determine the possible underlying causes. They can be factors such as an undiagnosed illness or injury, anxiety problems, socialization problems, or even past traumas. Number 2. Destructive Behavior When a dog exhibits destructive behavior, it can manifest itself through activities such as chewing furniture, tearing objects, tearing or scratching doors and windows, among others. These behaviors can be frustrating and worrying for owners, but it is important to understand that they are usually not a deliberate attempt to cause damage or annoyance, but rather a way of releasing energy or relieving anxiety. It is essential to identify the possible underlying causes of destructive behavior. These can include lack of sufficient exercise, lack of mental stimulation, separation anxiety, fear, or even physical health problems. Once the cause is identified, it can be addressed with specific strategies. One of the most effective ways to prevent destructive behavior is to provide the dog with enough exercise and environmental enrichment. Regular walks, interactive games and puzzle toys can help keep dogs physically active and mentally stimulated. In addition, establishing a routine and offering a predictable environment can reduce anxiety and provide the dog with a sense of security. Number 3. Avoids eye contact When a dog avoids eye contact, it can be a sign that he feels uncomfortable, anxious or insecure in certain situations or with certain people. Eye contact is an important form of communication between humans and dogs, and it is especially significant in terms of establishing trust and mutual understanding. When a dog avoids eye contact, it can be indicative of a number of possible reasons. For example, he may be experiencing a level of stress or anxiety that makes him feel vulnerable or threatened. He could also be the result of a previous negative experience or a lack of early socialization, which could have generated some distrust in new situations or with unfamiliar people. In addition, some dogs may have a natural predisposition to avoid eye contact, which may be influenced by genetic factors and their socialization history. It is important to remember that each dog is unique and may have its own preferences and sensitivities in terms of social interaction. Number 4. Hides or moves away from you One of the possible reasons why a dog may choose to hide or move away is fear or anxiety. This may be related to specific situations, such as loud noises, unfamiliar visitors, or new and unusual environments. It is also possible that the dog has had previous negative experiences that have led him to associate certain situations or places with stress or fear. 
In addition, some dogs have a more shy or introverted nature and may feel more comfortable having their own quiet space. It is important to respect this preference and provide an environment where the dog feels safe and protected. If a dog repeatedly hides or moves away from his owner, it is essential to address the situation with patience and compassion. Forcing interaction or insisting on the presence of the dog can increase his anxiety and worsen the situation. Instead, it is helpful to allow the dog to approach when he feels ready and provide positive stimuli, such as gentle praise or treats, to reinforce a positive association with the interaction. If you have made it this far, do not forget to give us a like. With this, you will be helping us to continue publishing this type of content. And if you wish, you can subscribe for free. And activate the notification bell. We upload several videos a week. Number 5. Avoids physical contact. When a dog avoids physical contact, he is communicating a preference or a feeling of discomfort with close contact. This can be an important sign that the dog needs personal space or may be experiencing anxiety or insecurity at that time. Some dogs are naturally more reserved and prefer to maintain some physical distance from people. This can be part of their individual temperament and does not necessarily indicate a behavior problem. It is important to respect the preferences and individual limits of each dog. However, if a dog who used to enjoy physical contact begins to avoid it, it can be a sign that something is causing discomfort or stress in the animal. This could be the result of a recent negative experience, an undiagnosed medical condition or changes in his environment that make him feel insecure. It is crucial not to force physical contact if the dog clearly avoids it. Number 6. Ears back. This behavior can be the result of several reasons. For example, the dog may be reacting to an unfamiliar stimulus or a situation that makes him feel vulnerable. He may also be responding to a previous negative experience, which leads the dog to adopt a more defensive posture. It is important to interpret the dog's body language in the context of the current situation. If a dog has his ears back, it may be a sign that he needs space or that the situation is causing him stress. It is essential to respect this signal and avoid forcing interaction. On the other hand, some dog breeds naturally have ears that are kept in a backward position. Therefore, it is important to know the characteristics of your dog's breed and how they may influence his body language. If you notice that your dog has his ears back persistently or in specific situations, it may be helpful to observe the environment and the circumstances that could be contributing to his discomfort. Number 7. Changes in Appetite or Behavior when a dog experiences changes in his appetite or behavior, it can be an important indication that something is happening in his health or well-being. These changes can manifest themselves in different ways, and it is essential to pay attention to them to understand and address the situation appropriately. Regarding appetite, if a dog shows a sudden decrease or loss of interest in food, this can be a sign of physical discomfort stress, or even an indication of some underlying health problem. On the other hand, an increase in appetite could indicate a metabolic problem or a simple need for more exercise or activity. As for behavior, changes can be equally significant. For example, if a dog who is normally playful and active becomes apathetic or withdrawn, this can be a sign of physical or emotional discomfort. On the other hand, a dog who shows agitation or excessive nervousness could be experiencing anxiety or stress for some reason. What do you think? Here, I recommend you watch these two videos. Well, that's all for now until next time.